Hey friends, Big Dub here again. I am in Denver, Colorado. I'm at the Courtyard Marriott somewhere. There was a lot of traffic after a uh, quite tumultuous flight. And I'm gonna go try to check out at least one store while I'm in Denver. I'm only here for a couple days, but Mile High Comics, which I have seen on some documentary, and I think it's the biggest comic store, at least in the country, in terms of square footage. Apparently has this massive warehouse of comics. I do not know if they have collectibles, figures, anything like that. But I'm going to go find out. And I thought I'd take you with me for my trip to Mile High Convicts. No. Mile High Comics. Not Convicts. That would be a different trip. Mile High Comics in Denver, Colorado. Let's see what they're working with. All right, I just drove about 10 miles to Mile High Comics, and uh, I mean, this is humongous. Just wait to, it's like a Sam's Club. It's like Costco of comics. So wait till you see this thing.
All right, friends, Big Dub again. I'm here in my rental car, a uh, Denali. This is pretty nice. Uh, I didn't buy anything. We'll talk more about it when I get back to the hotel. Um, just too much. There's so much stuff. That place is incredible. That is almost like visiting a tourist destination. Like, it's just, there's so much. There's so much. Uh, I am going to run over to another place a few miles away called Hero Headquarters, even though the Yelp reviews say it's uh, very expensive. But I'm going to go give it a shot and see what they have before I grab dinner and head back to the hotel. So let's ride over to Hero's Headquarters. I think this is in Westminster, Colorado. Hello again, friends, back at my hotel after my visit to Hero Headquarters and Mile High Comics. Wanted to talk a little bit about these visits. Uh, in Mile High Comics, which is certainly a destination, it's the kind of mecca for comic book fans. It's huge. It's, if not the size of a Costco, it's definitely as big as a Toys R Us, a big Toys R Us. It's a big open warehouse. I didn't even come close to showing you everything. I tried to get glimpses of each area. But there is just so much stuff there that it's very challenging. Their prices are high. I mean, comic book store prices typically are. You can imagine a destination comic book store prices would be high too. Uh, but they, they had so much stuff. Not, not a ton of modern toys and collectibles, but they did have some. I really wanted that Sparta, timeless Batman play arts guy. I've been wanting that for a couple year, year or so, but... Not at $200. I just can't do it. Um, 
they had an Iron Man egg attack I thought about, but it was a little overpriced. But ultimately, that is just, you need to go. You can go to, to take it in. They have so many Golden Age comics, Silver Age. It's just really a cool thing to do and to see all the old things. Now, if you're in the market for older toys, especially 80s and 90s stuff, uh, not necessarily like 80s cartoons, but more like 80s Marvel and 90s Marvel Universe stuff, old image action figures, things like that, early 2000s, they're going to have that stuff there in droves. It's like being in the Diamond Previews catalog for every decade. That's what it's like if you ever look through the previews catalog at your local comic book store. Definitely should go check it out. The second place, Hollywood Heroes, or Heroes Headquarters, I'm sorry. I almost didn't go to. The reviews on Yelp said it was very overpriced. Mentioned like double the price of eBay. That's why you don't always go buy reviews, especially when it's not food. I mean, like stores like this. What one person's opinion may be completely different. The prices were high in some cases, uh, but in other cases not. You know, they had the Kylo Ren Hot Toy for under $200. They had Mary and Pippin um, six scale figures for 100 bucks each. You know, it was fairly normal. Uh, normal prices on six scale stuff, what you expect to find. A lot of Marvel Legends, I really liked their loose display cases I showed you. Sure, they're like the Sauron Wave. I think they had it twenty nine ninety nine, a little high. But that's what you're going to expect in a place like that. Just like you would pay to get it early on eBay or whatever. However, uh, I the owner was great. The employees working there were awesome. And I did pick up three items that I'm going to show you right now. So the first, SH Figure Arts Goofy from Kingdom Hearts. I've been eyeballing these for a while I really like the way they look. I like the art design. I think they're from Kingdom Hearts 2. The next one I got, Donald, SH Figure Arts. I need to get the King Mickey and the Sora. Then I'm sure they're going to have a bunch from Kingdom Hearts 3. And then the final item I got, SH Figure Arts, Frieza, from DBZ. Those were the last of each of those they had and uh he was willing to little, do a little bundle negotiation <laughs> hey big dub style so i came in below ebay below amazon below any price i could find on those uh, and then a little discount on top of that for the bundle so i'm very pleased with my pickup not a huge haul but a nice haul um three two figures i've definitely been on the freeze i've wanted since i've started to get into the dbz stuff so i'm really happy with the pickup there's another store I'm going to try to get to in Denver tomorrow if I have time after work. Uh, and then if I do, I'll take you with me and you'll see a video from that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, the visit to Mile High Comics especially. Uh, brought you along with me. It's a place a lot of us will never get to, so it was really cool to check it out. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video.